So a couple of days after the news has been broken about Yannick Sinner and the failed drug test back in March, he's spoken out for the first time this week because he's doing the press day, which all the players are supposed to do before the US Open. Let's have a listen to what he had to say about the incident and also about his team and the changes he's made. When asked about how he's been dealing with the situation that's been happening the last couple of days, yeah, of course, it's not ideal before a Grand Slam. But you know, in my mind, I know that I haven't done anything wrong. I had to play already months with this in my head, but you know, just remembering myself that I haven't done really anything wrong. I always respect that these rules, and I always will respect these rules of anti-doping. He then went on to talk about his team and how he's split with the two guys that actually were the reason this all came about. He says, yeah, first I want to say with that, that they have been a huge part of my career. We worked together for two years. We made an incredible job, bringing a lot of success, and then having a great team behind me. Now, because of these mistakes, I'm not feeling that confident to continue with them. The only thing I just need right now, just some clean air. He then also went on to answer a question about his reputation and what this means for his reputation. He said, for me, I always believed that I kept playing tennis because in my mind, I knew that I hadn't done anything wrong. I knew that I was very clean and I knew that I was always very looking forward to be a fair player. Obviously, it's coming out this notification. It might change a couple of things, but whoever knows me very well knows that I haven't done anything and I would never do something what goes against the rules. About the reputation, we will see now moving forward. No, because this, I can't really control. So let's see. He was also asked about the reaction from other players and what his response was to them. Those who test positive go through the same process. There are no shortcuts or different treatment. I do understand the frustration of other players, but maybe they were suspended because they didn't know exactly where the substance came from. We did. I am clean. I am fair. So you have it. That's what Yannick Sinner had to say in the press conferences today, and it'll be interesting to see how he goes into the US Open because he did fire the two guys that were responsible for this mess, the physio and the trainer as well. So it's going to be really interesting to see how he goes forward if he's got new people involved or if he's just going to use I guess the tournament physios and stuff like that but yeah very interested to see how he goes going into this US Open he's one of the favorites not the favorite I think it's still going to be uh, Djokovic and Elkris ahead of him just based on maybe the last couple of months in form but he did win, just win Cincy so he's got to be feeling pretty good about himself with his tennis but let me know down in the comments below what do you expect from Sinner at the US Open do you think he's still going to win it or do you think this has just been too much over the last couple of days and he's going to be emotionally drained because of all this? But Yannick Sinner speaking out to the press for the first time since those failed drug tests have come out.